Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. It's still raining, my friends. It is definitely still raining. And... Well, you know, at least that means I don't have to water my crops. I suppose it could be worse. Um, but... I want to do a little bit of foraging today. I want to kind of run around the beach, see if I can find some goodies that I can sell because I'm pretty low on cash. I pretty much drained my entire stock of money uh, to buy as many seeds as I could in the hope of getting more money in a few days when the harvest ends. The downside, though, is that means I'm, I'm a little short on funds. I don't have much to my name. Only 113 gold. I'm practically a beggar. But anyway, so... We're going to do a few different things. First and foremost, I want to run to the museum. I do have a couple of artifacts that I can donate. And... Here's the museum right here. So let's head on in. And we're going to donate some stuff. We will donate a dwarven helm. And... A... Whatever that is, as well. And it says new reward. Collect rewards. Oh, nine cauliflower seeds. Awesome. So we can we should definitely plant those as soon as possible. We'll plant those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll definitely plant those tonight before we go to bed. Without a doubt. We'll have to leave some time for that. But that's good. That's good. That's more that's going to give us a pretty fair amount of cash, I think, for nine cauliflower. That should be pretty good. Okay. Actually, let's take a look at those. No, just, it just says plant him in the spring. No special instructions beyond that. So, that's really good. Okay. Now, I do want to do a little bit of foraging as well. As I said, there's a daffodil there. But what I'm really looking for is some of the stuff that we can turn in at the town center right here. Because we started... Um, we started a spring... What was it called? Let's see... Here we go. We started the spring foraging bundle. And we need... We still need a dandelion. And a wild horseradish. To be able to complete that. So I think that's going to be really important. We're definitely going to want to do that today. Hopefully I'll be able to find both of those. And then we'll see if that gets us some sort of cool reward. If it fixes up the, uh, the town center. Or we'll see. We'll have to see what happens there. Let's see. So let's let's look around a little bit. Let's see if maybe we can find some some stuff to forage, to take for ourselves, and to ultimately give to the little people, the little green men, the little green men. I sound crazy when I say that. The little green men that live in the town center. Um, maybe what we should do is head out kind of towards where the wizard's tower is, because I think there's some good stuff out there, and we haven't been foraging out there recently, so that might be our best bet. Let's go this way and see what we can come across. Uh, okay, so we got cows. Eh, not super excited about cows. We've got up here, that actually goes to my farm, I think. Not finding any goodies, though. Hmm... What do we got around here? I bet that's a pretty good fishing spot. Or at least I'd like to think it is. Can I, like... Oh, I can. Cool, I can just chop my way through this. Nice. Let's do that as well. Can I go into the woods up here? No, I can't. Okay. It was worth looking into. It was worth checking. But, I'm not really having any luck finding the other stuff I need... Oh, there's a dandelion right there. We'll need that. Now we just need to find a wild horseradish right there. Awesome, we got it. Okay, so now we can actually head back and complete that care package. And I think that repairs a bridge somewhere. I'm not sure what bridge it repairs, but it said last episode when we looked into it, it said the reward for doing that was a bridge repair. So, I'm going to assume, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, Oh, hello, Spring Onions. Yes, I will take all of your wonderfulness. So, here's a question. Those were all planted. If I hoe this more, 
Will I come back someday and there will be more of them planted? Because that would be pretty cool. I just want to try this out. And if that's the case, we'll expand it more in the future. Oh, here's a bunch more. Let's do the same thing over here as well. Oh, that was... Can I not hoe that? I guess not. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's spring onions all over the place. We can forage like crazy. There's all sorts of stuff. There's some right there. Some right here. We're just gonna expand those a little bit, too. I don't know if that'll make any difference whatsoever. Um, I may, we may have just wasted some energy, but that's okay. Part of the fun of a game like this, at least for me, is experimenting and kind of seeing what you can do uh, to, you know, kind of manipulate the game and all that kind of stuff. So we found some spring onions. We found a pretty good amount of them, actually. How many did we find? 19. That's a pretty decent amount. We can probably sell those for a reasonable amount of cash. And if we're lucky, we'll be able to... Uh, we'll actually be able to level up our foraging as well. That would also be really good. But it's 2.50 p.m. already. It's getting late. I hope I can make it back to the store in time to actually sell that stuff. I'm also getting kind of depressed with how much it's raining. Like, there's no happy, upbeat music when it rains. It's just rain sounds. And that's a little bit depressing. Just, just a little. Uh, here we go. Let's head into Pierre's. Oh, actually, aren't they closed on Wednesdays? Yeah, he's closed on Wednesday. Never mind. So much for you, Pierre. Apparently, you didn't want to buy my turnips or wild onions or whatever it is I got too bad. That's all right. We'll go to the town center and we'll complete this supply drop thing. Spring, spring supplies. Ooh, the other thing we could do is we can chop down all of this stuff. Make it look decent. There we go. That doesn't look too bad now. That looks a little better than it did, at least. All right, in we go. Let's see about completing this thing. So. There we go. Spring foraging bundle. They need a dandelion. And they need a wild horseradish. Bundle complete. Okay, what does that do now? Oh. Oh. It just opens. Oh, and it says reward. Oh, spring seeds. 30 spring seeds. Wow, that's a lot. And then I think... Oh, it's actually giving us a little cutscene here. Oh, it opens up another tablet. And then we can see that guy making off with the bundle. Oh, it opens up a bunch of tablets. Oh, okay. So what's this? Spring crops, animal, summer crops. So spring crops would be parsnips, green beans, cauliflower, and potatoes. I'm already going to be growing a bunch of those. Can I talk with him? No, I can't. What about you? Oh, this is all fish stuff. So lake fish. Ocean fish, sardines, tuna, red snappers, and tilapia. Specialty fish, that I don't think, I feel like that would be the hard one. River fish, sunfish, catfish, shad, and tiger trout. Okay, so there's fish bundles and then there's crop bundles as well. We're going to plant all these spring seeds and see what grows. Hopefully in there we'll get all the stuff that we need to complete the spring bundle. That would be awesome, but it is getting pretty late. So I think we should head home and start planting our seeds now before it's too late to do so. I'll meet you over there, guys. All right, guys, I am back, and I got all those seeds planted, which is great. But it's going to be kind of... We might actually run into a little bit of problems here uh, as far as some of this other kind of stuff goes. So I'm going to try and sell that. Um, if it stops raining in the near future, like if it ever stops raining... That's a lot of crops to water, especially with this really less than amazing watering can. So we may want to see if we can do something about that. Let's check the TV real quick and just see the weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. Weather forecast for tomorrow. 
partially cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. So that does not say rain. So I'm thinking tomorrow is not going to be a rainy day. Let's go ahead and take a sleep, and we'll see if that's the case. Our foraging leveled up, so we get plus one axe proficiency, and we now know how to make a survival burger. And then we got 152 for the onions, 40 for the fishing. That gives us another 200 gold, roughly. So that's pretty good. And... Looks like it's nice out, which is great, except for the fact that that means we have to water all of these crops, and that's going to take a long time. So, guys, let me get the morning chores done, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. So we got all the stuff watered, which is awesome. Uh, I seem to be missing a seed. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I swear there was a seed planted right there. Maybe it got taken away. I mean, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, we're definitely in range of the scarecrow, so I don't think a bird ran off with it or anything like that. But let's check the mail. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return it ASAP. That's a tough time without it. There's 250 in it for whoever finds the thing. I will take that. Okay. What else we got for mail? I'd like to apologize for joking around your grandpa's... Dear Farmer Wells Knight, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel home. Feel at home in Stardew Valley, your local carpenter, Robin. Okay. So, Robin's Lost Axe. South of Marnie's Ranch is what it looks like. So it should be somewhere around there. Let's head on over that direction. I believe, ooh, and we can grab more stuff to forage here too. There's tons. It's everywhere right now. Awesome. After all that rain, looking beautiful. Okay, let's see here. So Marnie's Ranch, I believe, is like up here. Right? I think? No. No, it's not. Where is Marnie's Ranch? Marnie's Ranch? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's like up past the town center. Um. So if we go around here and up, we'll find Marnie's Ranch. And then we'll just have to kind of look around and see. No. No, that's not Marnie's Ranch. Where is Marnie's Ranch? I thought it was up north. Am I completely misguided? I may be. Because here's me. Oh no, Marnie's Ranch is south of my house. Oh, I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> that's all right. Let's take a quick look around and just see. Anything over here worth taking? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so we'll head to Marnie's Ranch. I'll meet you over there, guys, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, I am back, and I was going to Marvie's, Marnie's Ranch, and it, I came across this. Ew, it smells. Oh, why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. That seems like a terrible decision. I mean, it's gross. I think Gunther has the key. Huh. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big old rusty key. Okay, so maybe I can convince him to get the key. Oh, and they saw something in the sewers. Yeah, run, run away. There's something moving around in there. Well, it's the sewers. What do you expect? Of course there is. Hmm. Oh, scared me too. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, here's Marnie's farm. Let's take a look around. It was supposed to be somewhere south of Marnie's farm. We're looking for this axe. I'm guessing it might be down here somewhere. Hopefully we'll come across it. Oh, there it is! Look at that! 
Found the lost axe, better return it to Robin. We will, but before we do that, we're also going to gather all these wild onions yet again. Some new wild onions, which is good. I don't think I can actually get in there though. I'm guessing from the cutscene that you can't. But it also looks like the area, the ground that I hoed, uh, did not hold up. So, hmm. Well, I think I better run that axe back to Robin before it gets to be too late. So, I'm gonna head back to the to Robin's house, guys, and I'll meet you there in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back, and I came across Leah, and I kinda wanna give her a gift. I'm gonna give her a dandelion. This is a really nice gift, thank you, she says. And that's gonna upgrade our journal and actually we'll get a little bit of a reward for that as well, which is pretty awesome. But Leah, or Leia, however you wanna pronounce it, I'm gonna call her, I think I'm gonna call her Leia. She, uh, she's kind of a fox, not gonna lie. Maybe my future wife, we'll see. That's kind of the one I'm leaning towards, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's head back to uh, Robin's house and I'll be back with you in just a sec. All right, guys, we're back. Let's give Robin her axe. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other axe I was using. Thank you. Awesome. And that gets us a pretty nice amount of money as well. 250 gold. We are raking in the dough right now, which is great for us because, as I said, we're running a little bit low at the start of this episode. So, let's see here. What else do we have left? It's 3.50 p.m., Probably not gonna have a whole lot of time to really do much. Maybe what we could do is go fishing a little bit. That might be, that might be a good use of our time. We haven't gone fishing in a while. I think that's what we'll do. Let's see, there's a, a few spots that I kinda wanna try fishing. Um. Oh. Oh, I've never been over on this side. I didn't even know this was here. Out of order, okay, so that looks like some sort of minecart. And I don't think I can get on the bus, can I? No, no, I didn't think so. The bus to Calico Desert is out of service, okay. So if I want to go to the desert, for some reason, I don't know why I would want to go to the desert, but if I wanna go to the desert, then uh, too bad for me, I guess, that's okay. All right, let's try, can I try fishing? Oh, I can. I can fish in this little pond right here. Broken glasses. What else can I fish up? Let's see. Hopefully I'll be able to get decent things in this pond. Let's see here. Come on, fishy fishy. Here, fishy fishy fishy. Fishy. Uh, and no. Broken CD. I'm having terrible luck. I really am. Either, or maybe you, oh, nope, that was a bad one. Uh, then again, I don't know if you can actually catch fish in this pond or not. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out if we can or not. Hmm, fishing's kind of relaxing too, by the way. Like, it's kind of nice. Come on, give me a fish. No. Driftwood. I'm starting to think that you cannot actually catch fish in this pond, or that it's very rare to catch fish in this pond, because I've never had this ter this terrible of luck fishing in the pond. Like, it's pretty bad. Let's see here. We'll try once more, and if that doesn't work, I'll just use my remaining energy chopping down a couple more trees or something. Because we do need the wood. Come on, fishy fishy. Oh, that was, ah, that was my fault. I jumped the gun. I jumped the gun, my friends. That was my bad. Come on, let's see if we can get a fish. Oh, there we go. Trash. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you cannot catch anything useful whatsoever in that fishing pond. Uh, so we're just gonna get rid of some of these random things that we don't need. And actually, let's get rid of 
those that stuff as well. We'll sell it for a little bit of extra dough. And then I've got a little bit more money left before I fall asleep. So, or a little bit more energy left, I should say, before I pass out. So I think I'm going to try and chop this tree right here down. I just kind of want to get rid of the ones that are, like, obstructing my vision. Oh, man, my... My stamina is so low. It's a little ridiculous. We got acorn, though. We got sap, and we got wood. So I think we are in good shape. So it might be time to call it a night. That's kind of what I'm thinking, guys. And I think that is going to do it for this episode. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.